Welcome back. With me I have uh, Tony Burris from Eagle Acupuncture. Uh, so Tony, you've been doing acupuncture for, for how long now? I've been licensed as a clinician for about 10 years. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what, what is acupuncture? I mean, what, what are the philosophies behind it? Well, acupuncture is a Chinese modality. And it's based on the idea of stimulating certain points on your body in order to elicit a therapeutic effect in the body. So it's a healing modality using the body's own healing abilities. So, I mean, how, how does that work? I mean, I have my liver here, and then I you know, put a needle here, for instance. I mean, how, how does that impact my liver that's over here? Right, so the idea is that you have 14 major pathways in your body. They're also called meridians or channels, and they crisscross your body all over, kind of like a freeway system. Yeah. And each one of those pathways corresponds to a major organ system uh, in your body, like the liver, like the lungs, like the small intestine. And the acupuncture points are actually points that are located along those channels. So what we do is when we stimulate those points along those channels, we're affecting those organs or regions or processes in your body. So I don't have to actually stimulate a point over your liver, which is in your rib cage. I can actually stimulate a point in your foot if it's on the liver channel, and that corresponds to the liver, so you're affecting the organ itself. So it's kind of like a, an electrical circuit board in a way? I mean, you, you want that electricity or that energy to flow in all these channels. Exactly, so the Chinese would use the word qi, is yeah. the word they use for energy, which is kind of a not really an appropriate translation, but the meridian system that I talked about roughly corresponds to the peripheral nervous system in your body. Okay. So you're basically sending a stimulation to your peripheral nervous system, which then goes to your central nervous system, your brain and your spinal cord, mm -hmm. takes in that stimulation, translates it, and then sends it back out to your body. Okay, so these, these pathways, uh, they're not connected. It's not like there's a nerve that's here. It's, it's actually a kind of an energy channel more in, instead. Right, so the channels are basically representational uh, forms of the natural flow or the direction of flow in your body. Okay. So that flow can be nerve impulses, can be blood flow, can be lymph, can be a lot of different things. The Chinese would just use the word qi as kind of a general term to cover all of those things. So it's not really a very specific term, okay. qi. It's meant to be just kind of a general representation of the natural flow in your body. They've actually taken uh, different uh, meters where they've been able to measure these meridians also. So what the Chinese were doing 5,000 years ago, we've been able to find out now that they, I mean, with scientific. Exactly, so the acupuncture points do have a different electrical, measurable electrical charge than the rest of the area around it. And when there's a pathology involved in that channel, again, that electrical charge will change. So, okay, yeah. okay. So how, um, so who, who should go? I know we've been talking a little bit about pain, uh, and I know a lot of pain, people with pain come to you, mm -hmm. and I know you treated a lot of you know, NFL football players, Olympic, you know, uh, Olympic medalists, and, and so forth. So right. who, why do they come to you? Yeah, obviously pain is one of the reasons, but how, how do you go about dealing with that? So the people that I like to see are people that are frustrated. Okay. And people that are in pain are usually frustrated because yeah. they can't do what they want to do. Yes. They're in pain, they hurt, they can't sleep right, they can't work right, their household relationships suffer. And they've usually been through procedures, surgeries, medications, and have partial or full, you know, no effect. So people that come to me are people that have already been through that. This is a, a, a therapy that's kind of outside the box yeah. and it addresses their pain more holistically, so more entire body oriented rather than just symptom oriented. So it actually activates on the body's own energy system to be able to correct what's causing the exactly. pain, what's underneath the whole thing. Exactly. Okay. So how, how does pain, I mean, how is it affected by just a needle? I mean, let's say you're stimulating, let's say it's the, the spleen meridian that is off and that's causing the pain in the knee. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, how, how does that work? So in Chinese medicine, pain is, the actual translatable term is stagnation. Okay. okay it's B, B-I, but it stands for stagnation or blockage. So wherever somebody has pain, there's some kind of blockage in that meridian system. Yeah. Okay. 
So the therapy for it, which in acupuncture is, we're stimulating a point somewhere along that channel in order to get that blockage relieved or moved through. So we're stimulating the chi at that point mm -hmm. and we're that chi to tra travel through that channel to relieve that blockage. Okay. So that's how they would explain it. Now that blockage in, in Western terms can be, you know, it can be inflammation, it can be a, a muscle tear, it can be any kind of representation like that. But the Chinese would describe it simply as stagnation. So things are stuck in that area. So even something like a muscle tear, which obviously looks very physical on an x-ray or uh, you, you can still just open up and the stagnation right. and you would still have an impact absolutely pain wise with yep. acupuncture absolutely Great. yeah so yeah getting that chi to move through that area and getting that stagnation uh, to clear out you know would be you know removing inflammation would be another way that you know you could yeah. do it you can actually use the needle as a physical therapy tool to actually elicit um, releasing trigger points or motor points so actually getting a physical change in the actual tissue but in Chinese medicine that's still relieving stagnation that's how they would define it so yeah yeah yeah, yeah so um, yeah acupuncture is such a powerful powerful tool and uh, uh, I know Tony he's uh, and his wife they have a practice in uh, in Eagle it's called Eagle acupuncture and and I mean I would definitely I would definitely visit them if you're dealing with any kind of pain and there's so many other areas that uh, that acupuncture can be beneficial in also so uh, after this we'll be right back